our final biology topic is sustainability. So it's just about how we can make sure that we look after our environment so it can keep looking after us, basically. First bit we need to talk about is conservation. So conservation just means trying to preserve the variety of plants and animals and preserving their habitats. And the reasons we need to do this are to make sure that we have food. So if we kill off all the cod, no one will be able to go and have fish and chips anymore. So we need to make sure we preserve them so that we can keep eating them. Uh, it prevents changes to food chains because it can have unpredictable consequences if an animal is removed from a food chain. It can, it's very hard to predict what will happen. And an example of this is they recently reintroduced a species into Yellowstone Park. So they reintroduced wolves because there were too many deer and the deer were damaging the environment. And once they reintroduced the wolves, myriad numbers of species actually began to thrive. It had actually had an actual effect on the path that the river took through the park because um, it allowed more uh, beavers to move back into the area because their food chain was re-established. So whenever anything changes about food chains, the consequences are huge. Uh, we also want to protect uh, plants or animals that might have future medical applications. So the, a lot of the plant species from the Amazon have been found to have medical applications. If we let them die off, we could lose potential cures for diseases in the future. Oops, Daisy. Oh, I'm afraid my PowerPoint's gone mad. There we go, right. And the last thing is to protect unique habitats that might not exist anywhere else. So this is pretty much tourism, really. Um, if somewhere's pretty and unique, we want to keep it so that we can continue to enjoy it, really. It's a bit of a selfish reason, but it's a perfectly valid one. Right, extinction. Extinction, sorry. Basically, if the number of a species drops below a certain level, the species can become extinct. So there are none of them left, is what that means. So hopefully you all know the example of the dodo, which is now extinct because uh, sailors ate them all. Those of you doing the higher, you need to know that uh, the numbers need to stay above this critical level because we need to ensure that there's enough genetic variation in order for the species to stay healthy. Uh, there must also be enough habitat for the species to survive and a species can die if we introduce a new species to its habitat that is out-competing it. So if, it, if I introduce rats and they eat all the dodo's food, the dodo's die but dodos got et, but it's the same principle. Still end up with no dodos. Right, uh, whaling. So whales have been hunted for a long time, and it's because we can use their dead bodies for an awful lot of things. Uh, food, oil, fertilizer, perfume, piano keys, cosmetics. It goes on and on and on. They are, their carcasses are used for an awful lot of things. However, not everyone likes the idea of going out and killing whales. I don't know if you've ever seen, I think there was a spate on Facebook where people were posting videos of whale killing grounds uh, near, Ch near China. And when they kill them, the entire sea kind of gets bleached red with all the blood. And it's, it's not a very nice sight. And the other side of this is that some species of whales are becoming endangered. So they, they could become, become extinct because they're being hunted to death, basically. So for the higher, you need to know that there are international agreements that ban whaling. However, they are hard to police. The oceans are huge. It's hard to crack down on it. And not all countries actually support the ban, which makes it even harder to police. OK, and our final little topic is uh, sustainable develop. D blah, blah, blah. I'm having a proper fail this video, aren't I? I apologise. Our last topic is sustainable development. And what that means is that we only take what we need from the environment and we always leave enough for the future. So from fishing, we have fishing quotas. So we only take so many fish at a time so that there's always enough le fish left over so they can keep breeding. When we take uh, wood to turn it into paper, we replant the trees. That way there are always more trees available. So we always make sure we replenish what we take. And it's important to do this because fossil fuels are going to run out. So we need to have alternatives and alternatives that will last indefinitely. 
our population is increasing so we need to be able to continue to feed them uh, so we don't really want to run out of fish so we have to protect our food chains if we waste less so we only take what we need there will be less waste so that means there will be less pollution as well and by sustaining the environment that can help to protect endangered species as well so that is our final biology topic Woo! you no longer have to hear me witter about biology so we're nearly there folks in the home stretch do remember if you've got any questions don't hesitate to ask me